Hey, good evening, everyone. So this is Ansh, and we are back again with our new topic uh, to discuss about the storage architecture. So in the earlier sections, we have already discussed about all types of physical uh, files that is residing under database servers, like control file, data file, online read log file, parameter files, backup files, archive read log files. password files and alert log and trace files so to from today onwards we are going to start with uh, uh, more details discussion on all these files so before proceeding uh, let's discuss about some important concept on logical and physical database uh, uh, part so while discussing on logical and physical database structures we will be more familiar about these files also so which files can be categorized as physical files and which to consider as a logical files we will be going to discuss more in detail about that so we will discuss each and every component and before that let's start with our new concept about logical and physical database structures so this is what uh, we have uh, a diagram in this diagram you will be able to know that we have uh, two columns named as logical and physical under logical there is some division like database table space segments extents oracle data blocks as well as in physical side we have data files and storage system so first thing that should come to your mind what is this and what is the importance of all that because as of now you are aware with the database and data files and nothing more than that and we have already discussed about three things which is number 1 we have discussed about memory components that is ga1 we have discussed about the background structures the process architecture as well as we have discussed about storage medium the storage architecture but in storage this is the main thing that we should focus on obviously each and every component are very very critical and important but storage to learn to remember to uh, get a more concept more clarity on storage will give you troubleshooting skills how and uh, uh, where to pitch whenever you are facing an issue so let's discuss about logical and physical logical itself you know that uh, the memory region what we consider as a logical entity but physical what what are the physical things that is a storage part if you want to view logically whose existence is not in actual that is logical but in physical if you are uh, saying that okay these are the files and you can view it that are the physical files and if you are considering physical files that will be located in some physical location and it can be fetched by uh, going with the commands in the operating system but logically if your database is considered as a logical entity you should trigger some commands and you should get that details in the virtual way in a logical way with some of the commands like sql queries if you will execute sql queries a memory will be allocated and that details will be fetched from the physical files so you for viewing some physical things you should be allocating a memory and on that memory segment you will be able to view the details which is present in hard disk or physical files because as of now you are going to read any physical files it will throw uh, uh, random data like you won't be able to uh, read it it will be in binary in nature 0 1 0 or uh, some special character will be inside that so physical files you can't read to read that file we should have some logical entity some memory region where uh, we can read that file and the transformation of that physical files to logical files is done by some background processes so we have to categorize what are the physical files and what are the logical files uh, in the structures so here the first thing is mentioned is database so as of now we know that we store data in the database but database itself a logical entity we can't view there is no physical existence of database but we store data somewhere and we store data in the physical format and that physical format the data where is residing is a data files so the existence of data file is there and in the previous sessions we have already discussed about the blocks oracle data blocks so you can see at the bottom the oracle data blocks where data is residing it is the smallest entity where the data is residing and uh, you can see there is one more component called table space below table space there is a segments below segments it is a extent and the smallest entity will be the data block so these are the hierarchy of a logical structures 
and the physical thing only available is the data files or storage system storage system inside storage there is an fs file system asm so automatic storage management extra data san nas and file system but as of now we have configured we have installed os and all that thing in our normal virtual machine so we have file system because if you will trigger this command da-h the boot and all that thing will be uh, displayed and these are nothing but is a file system what we also call as a mount point so somewhere in some organization it is considered as a mount point or somewhere someone will call you as a file system so these are the physical uh, files or the physical location physical storage media where your uh, data is residing but as of now you can say okay data file we store the data in the data file and the smallest entity is the oracle block oracle data block but this data block should be present somewhere else at the os level and that is under this storage system it can be in the mount point or file system if asm is configured then it is should be stored in the asm if nfs file system is your network file subset then it should be in asm but the hierarchy you should be knowing about that uh, at the topmost portion we have a database and under database we can create multiple table spaces one database can have multiple table spaces and look at the hierarchy in one table space you can create a number of data files after data file you will be saying that okay under data file we have one more logical entity called segments so under one data files we can have n number of segments and under one segments you can have multiple extents and under one extents you can have multiple oracle data blocks there is no specific definition for database or table space or segments but these are the logical or physical database structures which is already inbuilt or already being defined by the oracle whenever you are installing a database with the dbco or with the manual method automatically a table space data files segments extents and oracle data box will be created because some of the default data files will automatically will be creating whenever you are creating a database like system data file csox data file uh undo data file temp data file users data file there is one more named as example data file so these are the data files where data is being residing along with the data file the table space segments extents and oracle data block will get created so remember whenever you are creating a database automatically these physical files will be created along with the suppose the system this is a system data file which is created but if system data file is creating that means table space should be there and if system data file is there that means segment will be there and if segment is there then extent will be also there and if extent is there then some data storage device should be there also that what we call as a data block which is of 8 kb 16 kb depending on the requirement of the organization but by default the data block size is 8 kb so these are the structure mediums whether you can consider logically or physically but someone will ask you what is a uh, table space uh, structures so you should say that table structure table space is a logical entity but data file is only a physical entity and some storage system like nas uh, and san asm nfs file system these are the physical entities physical structures where data is being residing so moving forward with next thing look this is a segments extents and blocks so segments exist in a table space segments are the collection of extents extents are the collection of data blocks and data blocks are mapped to disk block so what i have said just now one segments can contains you can see here one segments can contains n number of extents so in this section you can say segments are the collection of extents that means one segments can contains multiple extents and one extents can contains multiple data blocks and one data blocks can contain multiple disk blocks that is a file system storage so there is no concrete or proper definition of this oracle also has provided this many informations that these are just a logical or physical structures 
which is already being in this, uh, defined in the uh, script whenever you are going to create a data files or you are going to create a table space for a physical for storing a data these files will automatically get generated without uh, any uh, special parameters addition so if you are going to create a data file so before that for creating a physical files you have to create a table space at first if you will create a table space you have to create a data file also because if you are creating a logical entity you have to mention that the physical existence of physical location should be residing in your database because every files all the data will be stored in the physical locations and the physical location is and the physical structure is data file and table space is a logical entity so to store a data file or to create a data file by default you have to create a table space and if you are creating a table space you have to it is mandatory that you have to create a data file also which is in physical in nature and while creating these two things automatically the extends uh, segments data blocks will be allocated depending on the size how much you have created a data file of the maximum size if you are taking the 8 kb block data block the maximum size uh, data file can be created is of 32 gb always remember it is multiplied by 4 if 16 kb block is there then 16 into 4 the ma maximum size of a da single data file will be 64 kb gb so this is how a uh, structure is being built in the oracle database storage media if we we'll move forward this is something like uh, looks like at the back end suppose if a table space is one or you can say you have created a table space named sha so what happens and uh, you have to create a data file too suppose if you have created a table space named sha and a data file named sha.dbf dbf is a file extension which is a physical locations physical existence if you have created a data file for 32 gigs and this total size is being allocated now what now transaction is happening and you don't have proper space and sufficient amount of space in this data file you can add data file one more with it's not mandatory that you have to create with 32 gigs only you can create with mbs also you can create with 2 gb size also or, and you can afterwards you can extend it and you can extend till 32 gb if you have 8 kb block size so what i'm trying to say a single table space can have multiple data files and inside a single data files you can have multiple extents and um, inside our extent you can have multiple segments and inside that we can have multiple data blocks so this is how a process or a structure flows so moving forward with the some of the important or uh, default data file or table spaces that has been created while creating a data file a system data file or csox data and csox data file so system and csox is the uh, default and mandatory table space or data file that is being created at a time of the database creation apart from that the system table space is the primary table space without this you won't be able to uh, perform any operations in the database uh, uh, accurately because the system table space or data file is used for core functionality all the data dictionary tables and each informations like uh, we have seen in the memory segments in the memory architecture we have studied about SGA under SGA there is a component called shared pool under shared pool we have library cache and data dictionary cache so this data dictionary cache will be having informations all the tables all the metadata stored in system table space or system data file if this system table space or data file is not being created you won't be able to use this data dictionary tables you won't be able to use all that v dollar views and db underscore views these are the dynamic views we will come to this so these are the default data files and table space which is being created by default only the second is the csox table space and the csox table space is the auxiliary table space with the additional database components and this table space is also having some storage entity which keeps snapshots of the database whatever snapshots whatever performance related information which is captured in terms of snapshots that will be stored in the csox apart from that all the ora errors is also being captured in csox table space or csox data file 
so most often in our production database we used to face issues like system data file or csox data file is getting filled up system on csox data file is being filled up and we have a constant that we can't add data files in it or we can't resize the data file so we have to do certain activities that we will discuss in the later sections in the practical or life scenarios so this is a default table spaces apart from that we have few more table space or data files like users data file in users data file all the users related information like you have created a user and you have created a database object or table uh, and you have inserted few columns so that information will be captured in users data file or users table space and by default the default table space will be allocated to the users are the users data file or users table space always you can even change the default one to something else but if you are not mentioning anything to the users by whenever you are going to create a user create user username identified by the password and you are not mentioning the table space where its data will be stored you the default will be the user table space you can even identify you can go and search uh, which table space it is being using and how to check that from the views called db underscore users so apart from users we have undo also undo table space undo table space is very very important because one of the most popular question came from this that snapshot to old error what we call as a ora 0155 we'll discuss everything here so this is the very important topic uh, of undo table space and all that but remember in the physical files we have the system and csox table space or data file which is very very important without the existence of this we won't be able to uh, do any uh, work efficiently uh, and the performance will of the database also will degrade so this is it about the logical and physical structures of the database so we will study in the next session about uh, more detail and on more depth about data files and all that so till then thank you everyone bye bye take care